Good afternoon students, welcome to class today. We will be continuing our lesson on telling the time. Today we will look at how we can tell a time in a 12 hour clock format or a 24 hour clock format. That means we have two types of time formats that you can always use to tell a time. Either you say your time in a 12 hour clock or you say your time in a 24 hour clock hour clock. So what is the difference between a 12 hour clock and that of a 24 hour clock? Well first of all you know that a day has 24 hours. In a day we have 24 hours, right? Okay once you know that a day has 24 hours, the 12 hour clock has divided the day into a group of 12 hours. That means the time ends at 12 and then another set of 12 will also run. So two set of 12s will run for a day so that we get our 24 hours. The first part of the 12 is what we call the AM. So the AM is the morning 12 hours that we have for the 12 hours. Whilst in the other second half of the day, we use PM. So the 12 hour clock is having two different sets of time telling. That is AM and that of a PM. AM means morning and then PM also means afternoon or evening. So the afternoon and evening has been put into one phase and then morning has also been in one phase. So that is the 12 hour clock. However, the 24 hour clock looks at the whole 24 hours in a day. That means it starts from zero and then it runs up to 23. So from zero, it goes to one and then it ends at 23, covering the whole 24 hours in a day. Today, we will look at how we can write our 12 hour clock time and how we can also write our 24 hour clock time. So we'll look at the picture that we have on our board here. We have two clocks, okay? So we have two drawings of a clock. This clock is showing time basically in the morning only, okay? And then this clock will be showing us time in the afternoon and that of the evening. So we'll, we'll look at evening time here and that of afternoon time here. And then we'll look at only morning time from here. To help you to understand the clock and the numbers and the colors that we have here, the black writings are for 12 hour clock, okay? So you see that some of the numbers are in black. That means those numbers, we're going to use them for the 12 hour clock. And then the blue one that you see are the 24 hour clock time that you see. So the same thing applies to our second clock. The blue one is 24 hour and that of the black one goes for the 12 hour clock. The day starts at 12 for uh, the 12 hour clock. Okay, so the 12 hour clock will start from one o'clock, like 12 one in the morning, early morning, okay? So early morning, we'll have our time to be, when it is, let's say, 12, one, we start a new day. But our 24 hour clock will start from zero, zero, okay? So whilst it is 12 here, it is zero, zero on the 24 hour clock. So when it is 10 in the morning, you also see that it is 10 also in that of the 24 hour clock. The difference here is that when it is one o'clock, okay, in the morning, one o'clock in the morning, you only write one a.m., okay, one a.m., that means in the morning. But in that of the 24 hour clock, you write zero one colon zero zero, okay? So we'll do some examples so that we can understand them very well. In the afternoon or evening clock, when it is 12 o'clock in the afternoon, um, in the afternoon, when it is 12 o'clock, uh, the 
24 hour clock will also register this as 12 o'clock okay we'll also register this as 12 o'clock over here and then when it is one o'clock our 24 hour clock will register the time to be 13 so which means 13 is in the afternoon but on the 12 hour clock we're going to see 1 p.m okay so this is 1 p.m this is 2 p.m this is 3 p.m and then up like up to 12 p.m but in the case of our 24 hour clock it goes from 13 14 15 16 up to 23 so 23 it's late in the evening like midnight okay so one o'clock is in the afternoon up to 6 p.m so 6 p.m on the 24 hour clock is written as 18 o'clock okay 18 o'clock and it continues like that okay i have an example here that i want you to look at it that will help you to understand our clock better when it is nine so if it is nine in the morning our clock will be here and then the minutes will be zero five so this is how we write our 12 hour clock that will be 9.05 a.m okay so this is this side becomes our 12 hour and then this side becomes our 24 our clock so that is the difference in the case of the 24 hour clock we don't use p.m or a.m but in the case of the 12 hour clock we use a.m in the morning and then we use p.m in the evening okay okay then this one becomes our 24 hour clock so this is how we write it in the case of the 12 hour we don't start with zero but in the case of the 24 hour we start with zero okay okay so the time here is a corresponding to that of the 12 hour and that of the 24 hour so when you see seven o'clock in the evening it means we are talking about 19 o'clock in the evening in the 24 hour clock one o'clock in the afternoon is 13 o'clock in the 24 hour clock so you match these ones to help you to understand the clock very well the 24 hour clock start with zero zero and then it continues up to 12 so when it hits 12 then it will come and continue from that side again and then the day will end up to zero zero okay so i believe that you understand it very well and then we can take our 12 from here and then our clock will end here so when it is zero zero it means the day has ended and then we'll come to the morning at 12 here and then we'll begin a new one i would like you to do your first activity on this video and then afterwards we will meet on our second video Hello students, welcome to our second video. On this second segment, we'll be looking at how we can write our times correctly, um, looking at our 12 hour time format and that of our 24 hour time format. So let's look at the morning time, okay? This time is the morning, which means we are starting the day. So we, like we say, start here. So the day start at zero, zero, and then it continues like that, okay? Okay. So let's assume that it is in the morning and our time now is 11.23, okay? So the time on the clock is 11.23. So on the 24 hour clock, we'll find 11 here, okay? We find 11 here. Black is for 12 hour, blue is for 24 hours so how do we write our 11 23 so we write 11 23 a.m that means we are writing 12 hour okay in the case of the 24 hour we only write 11 23 
we don't add am because this is how we write 24 hour time okay so let's do a, a second example let's say our time in the morning is 7 14 okay so 7 14 so this is 7 and our minutes will be 14 okay so we write 7 14 a.m. for 12 hour and then in the case of the 24 hour we write 0 7 14 so what difference do you see you see that in the case of the 24 hour we start with 0 but in the case of the 12 hour we don't put any 0 here so the 0 here and that of the a.m. is making the difference between a 12 hour clock and that of a 24 hour clock so whenever you are writing your time in a single digits like one two three four five six seven eight up to nine in the case of the 24 hour clock please you have to start with zero the minutes will not change but if it is 12 hour clock you have to add am to that let's look at some examples in the case of the afternoon or in the evening if it is in the afternoon and the time is four o'clock okay so if the time is four o'clock it is four o'clock p.m in the afternoon but in the case of the 12 hour 24 hour clock you see four is going with 16 so we write 16 o'clock okay so when it is 4 p.m in the afternoon it is 16 o'clock in the afternoon for the 12 24 hour clock so this is 12 hour clock this is 24 hour clock this comes with p.m whether it is in the afternoon or evening but the 24 hour clock does not come with that okay so let's see a second example So let's say the time is in the evening and it is eight o'clock in the evening okay evening so it is eight o'clock in the evening how do we write that in the 24 hour clock so where is eight this is eight and on the clock of the 24 hour we find 20 so it becomes 20 o'clock so 20 o'clock that means 8 p.m. in the evening so anytime you are writing a time in the afternoon or evening the blue ones are the corresponding ones for your 12 for your 24 hour clock that you have to always check out okay so please make sure that you study this clock critically and nicely so that you don't forget about it your second activity will be posted to you through the telegram group and we will continue this section on our third video okay see you Hello student, this is our final video on our lesson telling the time and our first and second sections has been very interesting. We would like to conclude this part by doing a review of what we are studying today. We have our 12 hour clock and that of our 24 hour clock. We learned that our 12 hour clock means that the day has been divided into two main 12 different 12 hours. That means 12 hours, one 12 hours in the morning, then a second 12 hours in the afternoon, getting into the evening. In the case of our 24 hour clock, it means that the whole day of 24 hours has been divided into 24 hours. Okay. In over here on our board what we have is a clock that is showing a 12 hour time and that of a 24 hour time our black numbers are 12 hour clock time and our blue numbers are 24 hour clock time this clock is showing time in the morning 
So when it is in the early morning of 1 o'clock a.m., normally when you are writing your 12 hours, you have to use a.m. Whereas when you are writing your 24 hour time, you start the single digit with zero, okay? So when it is in the evening, your 12 hour clock comes with p.m. to end your time whereas your 24 hour clock normally is having a double digit that means when it is one o'clock you say 13 o'clock in the 24 hour clock and then when it is in the evening nine o'clock on the 24 hour clock you say 21 o'clock so the 12 hour clock will end on 23 and start from zero zero whilst your 12 hour clock will start from one and ends to 12 okay so please note how you write your your time so that you can always show a difference between your 12 hour clock and that of your 24 hour clock as well on our homework for today it's also going to be posted to you just as we did for tax one and that of tax two I am quite sure that you have enjoyed your lesson today and you'll be looking forward to do more interesting things with telling the time. I'll see you same time next week. Bye-bye.